With the entire world watching, Huawei deepened its open source commitment at Connect 2025 with a laser-like focus on AI and computing infrastructure. We will get into that more, but first, I want to welcome you to Ruben Tech, where we discuss the intersection of tech, politics, and finance. Today, we will be discussing technology, in particular Huawei. But before we begin, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps us out. Now, let's get started. From Shanghai and as annual flagship event, Huawei Connect 2025, Huawei un unveiled a series of significant open source initiatives aimed at fostering a collaborative and robust ecosystem for artificial intelligence and advanced computing. The announcements underscore the company's strategy of leveraging open collaboration to drive innovation and build a more self-reliant technology stack i.e. what China has been looking to do since America started this AI chip war. Headlining the open source announcements was the comprehensive opening of Huawei's new SuperPod architecture. It's also known as SuperPowerPod, a high-performance computing solution designed to tackle the demand of large-scale AI models. In a move to accelerate industry-wide adoption and development, Huawei is going ahead and open sourcing several key components of this architecture. This will include providing open access to SuperPod hardware. Yes, I know, I had a, I did a double take when I read that. And this is gonna encompass MPU module, blade servers, and AI cards. Furthering this commitment, the company announced the open sourcing of the entire UBOS component, a critical element for the operation of SuperPod. The source code is set to be upstreamed into open source operating system communities shortly, but of, the, of these communities, the most notable is Open Euler, which is a community-driven and open source OS that Huawei itself has been actively supporting. Now, you might be asking, why is Huawei doing all this? Well, because on this channel, I've spoke frequently how Nvidia has a large lead, not over just Huawei, but over all of its competitors in America, China, and wherever you may be. And this is due to its close of proprietary ecosystem, which is called CUDA, to which Nvidia has had a 20 year head start ahead of everybody else. Now, Huawei recognizes this and knows that the best way to catch up isn't to try to do everything on its own, but to foster open source alliances and to start building standards. Standards which Huawei itself will lead and develop. And in a bid to get this going and encourage broader partner participation in building out the ecosystem, Huawei has also released the technical specification for Unified Bus 2.0, an interconnect protocol for the SuperPod architecture, again called SuperPowerPod. Understand the significance of this. Huawei has three decades of networking experience that they are, they are by far the most advanced networking company in the entire world, bar none, and they're open sourcing this. What an amazing commitment. Now, beyond hardware and systems level, Huawei again reiterated and expanded upon its software and AI model open source plans. The company confirms its intention to make its AscendCon uh, ecosystem, that's the compute architecture for neural networks, the toolkit and its mind series components fully open sourced by the end of this very year. This move is strategically positioned to create a viable alternative to the other proprietary AI development platform in China, also known as CUDA. In a significant development for the AI application layer, Huawei also announced the full open sourcing of its OpenPangu foundational models. This initiative aims to provide uh, developers and researchers with powerful pre-trained models to build a wide range of AI applications. Earlier in the year, the company had already open sourced the Pangu Pro uh, 72 billion parameter model, signaling its direction towards greater openness in the AI model space. Now, all of these announcements from Huawei Connect 2025 collectively represent a significant step in Huawei's open source strategy. By opening up key technologies from hardware architecture to AI models, the company aims to cultivate a vibrant and collaborative ecosystem, accelerate innovation, and provide the industry with a more diverse set of foundational technologies for the intelligent era. As you know, on this channel, I have been a big proponent of open source technologies. I understand that companies need to make a dollar here and there, right? I'm not going off the deep end like maybe Richard Stallman has, but I do think that we can point to many companies like Google where they went ahead and they open source TensorFlow 
and it turned out to be a very positive thing as now the paper that was released with TensorFlow is essentially what has driven all of the AI model development that we know of to this date. So i.e. when companies go ahead and they collaborate together and they work together, they're able to create very creative and comprehensive systems that outdo what people can do on their own. It makes a lot of sense. And again, as I've spoken before, and as I've pointed out from NVIDIA's own Jensen Wong, as he has stated, best way to, to win it is to control the standards. So for Huawei to go ahead and say, hey, this is what we're gonna do, they did announce like, we're gonna focus on hardware to make our money. That's why we're committing to, to the open source solutions for software and stuff. Um, but what they're doing is they're saying, hey guys, look, in the community, here is some standards that we can all build on together. It doesn't have to be our hardware. You can use this on your own hardware. You can sell it, you can make your money, but as long as you're contributing back to the software, it's gonna strengthen all of us in our battle against the US and against NVIDIA. And I hate to put it like that, I really do, but that's essentially what it is. Okay guys, that's what I got for you today. All of you out there, be sure to have a great day.